instead of in flesh and blood. But the problems for the drivers are pretty much the same as for the jockeys, to bring the car and themselves home safely, and they hope first. What an interesting lineup we have this year, very varied. Uh, we have nine former champions in the field. We have six rookies. We have five grandfathers driving today, including Dick Simon, who is the oldest man ever to drive here. He's 53. We have two father and son combinations, the Unsers and the Andretti's. And we have a man from Colombia, South America, Roberto Guerrero, who just might win this race today. With all that, the focus this week, and this month really, has been on one man, from Nazareth, Pennsylvania, Mario Andretti. He won the pole position 20 years after he won that position for the first time. He's 47. Remember 1969? This was Mario winning and earning a kiss from the owner, Andy Granatelli. Let's go to one of our pit reporters now in the garage area, Jack Arute with Mario. Well, Jim, some things have changed. Of course, no longer is Mario Andretti driving for Andy Granatelli, but one thing hasn't. Since then, you haven't won an Indianapolis 500. What are your thoughts right now, Mario? Do you have the ability, the capabilities to score your second victory today? I think we do. I think the, the team has definitely uh, got uh, everything that's needed to be able to get the job done. I think that uh, the Chevy engine is capable of going. I'm ready to go. Lady Luck smiling us a little bit, and maybe we'll have a good day. Momentum. It seems to be going your way all month long. You sat on the pole. You won the pit crew contest. You guys are really pumped up. Well, this is a, like I said, that's a testimony of the team really being ready for the job. And uh, I think uh, during the whole month, we worked very hard. Others have as well. But uh, as I said, we never sat back and uh, just uh, uh, became complacent on, uh, because we were going well. It just uh, well, we worked hard and uh, we worked hard every minute of the way. And uh, we, uh, from a preparation standpoint, uh, I think uh, we couldn't have done any more. We're ready to go, and I hope it's enough. Well, who knows? It may very well be enough to put him in victory lane for the second time in his career. Jim? Okay, Gasoline Alley doesn't look like it used to. It used to be